kept on going because you know success leaves clues and once you find something that works you know like our mentor says don't get bored with it get paid with it so we just kept it. going yeah. it's really gratifying helping others become successful and helping them scale their businesses so you know that's mainly what we focus on now we always like to say you know we change lives for a living like that's our job we change lives for a living so it's our duty to serve others at the highest level and get them to the level that we're at you know i, I want everybody listening like honestly like because there, there might be some people that are killing it right now. There might be some people that are just getting started, yeah. right? And, and I want them to know like, yo, you can really do this and it's actually not as hard as you you might think, yeah. right? Oh, I don't want I don't want to bother my list that much. I don't want to send off a text blast at once a week because yeah. I feel like I'm annoying. Yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. a big one. Do, do not do that. Like you are doing yourself a disservice yeah. and you're doing your customer a disservice by not marketing to them more because your products are making their lives exponentially better. And we have our own strategies that we've kind of developed over the years that honestly, like nobody's doing this. Like, and get rich many like facts, facts, bro. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I'm telling you, like I've, I've looked around for the things that we're teaching yeah. and no one's doing it. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I, I truly believe that anyone who's, who's interested in and building their list and growing their business and having longevity in their business will be blown away by this this experience. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you wanna watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I wanna help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, all right, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Listen, according to a survey by Statista, there were 4.57 billion active internet users at the end of 2019, representing 59% of the total population on earth. Furthermore, studies have found that digital marketing tactics such as SEO and content marketing can be up to eight times more cost effective than traditional methods like print advertising and direct mailing. This means that businesses can reach more people for less money, ultimately helping them increase their customer base and boost sales online or just sales in general. Our next guest, teaches online entrepreneurs how to use digital marketing to make more sales, discover new ways to monetize and add next level automation to their business so they can work smarter, not harder. I got Steven <laughs> and Steven <laughs> in the building. What's up, fellas? What's How y'all doing, on, man? bro? What's going on? My, my guys having... rich from any anywhere. Yes, sir. yes, yes. Uh, in yes. the building. Um, you know, I'm excited about this interview because um, there's a lot of people who have great products and services, mm. um, you know, but because they don't understand what you guys provide, they don't understand how to market, they don't understand how to get eyes on their products and services, uh, they are suffering. Yep. Uh, They're trying to figure out, you know, their next move, how to get to yep. the next level. Um, and so you guys have, have, have created... Uh, something that's so that's so needed uh, in in our community in the entrepreneurship community. Um, but before we go there, um, for those who don't know, you know, if you guys could could introduce yourselves. Yeah, absolutely, man. So my name is Stephen Blackburn. I know I'm the co-founder of Rich from Anywhere, and uh, you know, we just two guys that were music artists, yeah. and uh, that, that's kind of how we haven't got even got into marketing was actually we we're music artists and we found that we had fans and we were, we were kind of creating a buzz and things were going pretty good, mm -hmm. but we were making like no money, mm. right? We were like the typical starving artist, mm. not making any money at all. And we got families and we got things to, to pay for. So that couldn't, 
you know, happened. So we basically, what we did was we actually started an e-commerce business. Mm. And uh, we actually just started the e-commerce business just to fund our music career. Mm. So we can fund like photo shoots and video shoots and stuff like that. And then we ended up getting into e-commerce and like figured out that we were actually pretty good at it. Mm. Ended up doing about a quarter million in sales in about seven months wow. in our first e-com store. Mm. And we were like, wait a minute, bro. Like, <laughs> like That's crazy. We might be yeah. actually good at this. Yeah. So, yeah. so we kind of just kind of kept on, kept on going because, you know, success leaves clues. And once you find something that works, you know, like our mentor says, don't get bored with it, get paid get with it. So we just kept it. going. Yeah. And, um, and here we are like six, seven, I don't even know, eight years later. Yeah. Man, we, and now we're helping like thousands of businesses do the same thing. Wow. So, wow. yeah, man. Wow. And so a- after the success, y'all put the mic down. Y'all say, you know what? <laughs> well, well, you know what? It's, it's crazy because for all my artists out there that, that are so-called retired, you don't ever want to say you retired. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. We, we still got the itch, but, you right. know, it, it's, it's really gratifying helping others become successful and helping them scale their businesses. So, you know, that's mainly what we focus on now. We always like to say, you know, we change lives for a living. Like, that's our job. We change lives for a living. So it's our duty to serve others at the highest level and get them to the level that we're at. So no, I love that. And then, you know, you, you, said, you said success leaves clues, right? Mm. And... Um, you know, you guys have had the opportunity to work with businesses that are making millions, you know, of dollars in sales. Uh, what would you say is the common denominator for 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 those for businesses yeah, doing that, for that sure. type of scale? So what I would say, like, because, yes, we do work with a lot of companies that are generating over a million dollars a year. The one common denominator between all of those businesses is that they're all growing their list. Mm. OK, they're all they're all building their list with emails and phone numbers. Mm -hmm. It's crazy the amount of people that we see on social media on a daily basis that have millions and millions of followers, right? Mm -hmm. Like, but they're not monetizing their list, Mm -hmm. right? And the reason why is because they don't have a list, right? They're they're relying on Instagram and and TikTok for all those followers. But what happens if those companies shut you down? Mm -hmm. What happens if your Instagram account gets hacked? What happens if you no longer can access your TikTok account? Mm. Then all of those fans that you were relying on contacting via the DM, Mm. you no longer have contact with them anymore, and now you're stuck. So the common denominator is this, right? You have to focus on growing your list Mm. outside of those platforms Mm. so that you can market to them with promotions Mm -hmm. anytime you go live, anytime you have a sale, Mm. anytime that... that Regardless of anything that you're doing, mm-hmm. you want to be able to have the ability and the control to promote to them at will and not be at the will of Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or any of those platforms. 100%. Yeah. Collecting data is like the thing that every business should be focusing on, mm-hmm. period. Yeah. Like, and this, this stat came out a couple of years ago, like data is now the most valuable resource in the world. It passed mm-hmm. up oil. Yeah. Right. So that's why you see all these, you know, emerging companies and all these data companies are just billions and trillions of dollars, right? It's, mm-hmm. That's the most powerful thing yeah. that you can do. So as a business owner, you have got to start collecting your data. Because like he said, if you're, you're taking all this information or, or you're, you're spending all this time and energy building up your Facebook page, and then Facebook just slams the gavel on you one day and just ha- and like, or your Facebook account gets hacked. Like how many out there, how many people out there right now have gotten their Instagram hacked yeah. or their TikTok shut down? Yeah. Like if you don't have tangible lists, like how are you going to reach your customers? Yeah. Your, your, your business is not... Like you, you pretty much like you're like a sitting duck. Yep. You know what I mean. So you got to focus on all the successful companies we work with. They focus on growing their list, and then promoting to that list consistently and monetizing that list. So this is why we're so passionate about this topic. This actually happened to us a few years back. Uh, we were riding high. We had our first six-figure year, and at that time, we felt we were riding high, making six figures. Mm. Had our first six-figure year. We were relying. Oh wait, oh, let's not downplay <laughs> six figures. A six-figure year is still it's, it's right, good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good, but compared to where we're at now, I'm about you know, to say I know y'all making M's yeah, now, but still, yeah, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Six figures is still. Yeah, good. for sure, for sure. So like. We, we, had, we had been doing really well, but one thing that we realized is that we were really reliant on these social media platforms, um, Facebook in particular. We ended up getting our Facebook account shut down, like our whole business manager, our whole business was shut down. So we no longer had access to all of that data that's so valuable. Wow. But the thing is, because we were building our email list and our phone number list, what we were able to do is we were able to create a new account. We were able to take our existing data, plug it back into Facebook on that new mm-hmm. account, and now all of a sudden, you know AI. AI yeah. is a big topic right now. Mm-hmm. The algorithm was able to read all of that information and lead us right back to where we left off 
running ads again effectively yeah. Wow. Yeah. at the drop of Quick a Quick little gem, like for everybody who has a list or is building a list, what y'all can do, like what, he, what we did in that instance was you can actually take that list, the CSV file, and you can upload that CSV file into Facebook mm. and you can create what's called a custom audience, yeah. right? And now those custom audience, those are people who, who rock with your products, who like what you do. Now what you can do is you can actually take that custom audience and you can tell Facebook, hey, go out and find millions of other people mm. who are just like these people, yeah. but different people. Yeah. And that's called a lookalike audience. Mm. And we've been scaling with lookalike audiences for years. So mm. if y'all don't take anything from this, from this interview, take that and that's go run with code. it right Look-alike there. Lookalike audiences <laughs> are the cheat code. And, and, you, and you know, <clears throat> one of the things that makes so much sense is like, even if I take it back to like MySpace days, right? Mm. When people were popping on MySpace, yeah. then, you know, MySpace died. Some of the people that were popping then are nowhere to be found. Then they, then they moved to Twitter. There you go. And they started popping. And, and a new set of people started popping on Twitter. And then when Twitter, you know, wasn't the hot spot to go anymore, when, when the club moved to Instagram, yo, know, some, some of the people that were like, quote unquote, influencers on Twitter, nowhere to be found. Mm. And then now we have this. You know, you know, Instagram is still rocking, if you will, and, and yeah. Facebook. But you know, you, you know, like like you said, if that dies, yeah. and then you know, you don't have a present, you're not omnipresent. Then now, you know, you get taken over by TikTok or taken over by whatever the case may be. And then now, literally, your business is determined, you know, based on, um, you know, you know, based on what Instagram is focused on, right? Because like for me. Um, I have, you know, close to a quarter, I have 248,000, let's say, right. followers on, um, on Instagram, but I already know Instagram not showing my stuff to all of those Facts. guys, right? They showing them to like 2000 people yep. and then, and then let me, you yep. know, I'll figure out the rest, you know what I'm saying? And so yep. I think that there's a thing to be said about building the list, but I, but I, <clears throat> I kind of feel like the majority of the people who um, are starting businesses um, don't even know how to, they don't even know how to build a following on Instagram right. or how to build a following on, yep. on any platform. Um, and so what is the, like, why is it important that any business, uh, like, why do they need an online presence? Oh, man. I mean, at the end of the day, like, if you have a business and you have products that you want to promote, you got to go where people are. Yeah. <laughs> and in 2023 and moving forward, everyone and their mom and their cousin, the cousin and everybody is online, right? Correct, yeah. more, more importantly, they're on their phone, Yeah. right? So like, I don't know where you guys live, but in Florida, yeah. like people are connected to their phone. Like it's like a part of their hand at this point. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. they never leave. Yeah. So if we know that, then why wouldn't, be, why wouldn't we as business owners be doing everything in our, like, in our capability to be getting our products and services on people's phones? Yeah constantly right yeah. so i mean the reason why you should be online is like everyone's there yeah. and Period. you know ev everyone is there and you, you know what's crazy is a lot of times just just being online isn't enough mm. you know what i'm saying yeah. like like just relying on being on instagram or being on facebook or being on tiktok that that's not enough right yeah. sometimes you gotta you gotta kind of put things into hyperdrive right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's where like ads come into play yeah. you know and and here's the thing like just because you have a large following does not mean that you're making money. Mm, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it doesn't mean that you are successful. Yeah. We, uh, we had an Instagram account that had about 500 followers, mm -hmm. but yet we were making six figures a year. Mm. The reason why is because we know these ad strategies that allow people to come into our world we indoctrinate them, mm -hmm. and then we sell them our services mm -hmm. because right. everyone needs advertising. But mm -hmm. more importantly than that, like we're not so much focused on, on building followers. Yeah. We're focused on building community, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that's another common denominator of every successful business that we've worked with yeah. is that they are building a community of a tribe yeah. of people that just rock with them, yeah. right? And, you know, I, I want everybody listening, like honestly, like, because there, there might be some people that are killing it right now. There might be some people that are just getting started. Yeah. Right. And, and I want them to know, like, yo, you can really do this. And it's actually not as hard as you you might think. Yeah. Right. Have you ever heard of the, uh, the, the true the thousand true fan rule? No. You never heard this before? Dude, this this right here. 
like completely blew me away mm -hmm. when I first heard it, right? It changed my perspective about business in general, right? And the reason why is, well, I'll get into why in a second, but the thousand true fan rule, it basically goes like this. If you can get a thousand true fans mm -hmm. to rock with you, right? That means like these are thousand true fans. Like these are people who just love your stuff. They buy everything that you put out and they just, they're just die hard. Mm -hmm. You can get a thousand people to spend a hundred dollars with you mm -hmm. over the course of a year you just made a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and I want everybody to marinate on that for a second, because that's like, like you said earlier, like six figures is nothing to, to sneeze at, bro. Like that's, yeah. and that's a lot of people's like goals when Absolutely. they, when they first get in like, everybody's got this dream of like, I want to make six figures. Yeah. But then when they, when they get out here and they start stepping into it and they're like, well, wait, like how the heck am I going to actually do that mm -hmm. though? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how am I going to make us like a hundred thousand yeah. dollars? And, and it feels like a mystery. Yeah. And when things feel like a mystery, they feel are, like they feel far out of reach. Mm -hmm. And when things feel out of reach, you don't want to do the things that are necessary to run that business. And when you don't do the things, you don't get the result. And when yeah. you don't get the result, it's a downward spiral. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the reason why I love this so much is because what this does is it turns mystery into math. Mm. Right. Yeah. So being successful is not a mystery. It's just a math problem. Yeah. Right. If you can get a thousand true fans to rock with you, by the way, let me let me back up for a second. Mm -hmm. Going on on the first thing that you said. A thousand people, that's not really a lot of people, right? right? You just said earlier, there's how many? Four billion people? Four, yep. yep. Over four billion people online, active yeah. users, right? Yeah. Like, tell me right now, like, you guys think that y'all can find like a thousand people right, to rock with you? Billion? I mean, it's come so on, easy. like, seriously. Sheesh. A thousand people, that's not really that many, yeah, you know, yeah. right? And a hundred dollars a year, that's really not a lot of money either. Right? Yeah. If you that's, pay, like, that's, like, that's like charging them $10 a month. Facts. It's actually yeah. $8.33 a month, mm, right? Like, yeah. I bought Starbucks coffee facts. that's more, that exactly. more expensive than that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? So, like, what, so what I really want everybody to understand is that when you break the, that formula down, 1,000 people, it's not really a lot of people. Yeah. $100 a year, it's not really a lot of money. Yeah. But when you put those two things together, it, it creates an extraordinary result, mm. right? So everybody can create this extraordinary result by just doing ordinary things consistently. Mm. No, nah, yep. that's a bar. I love that. And what what, what would y'all say is the like y'all y'all the the most the favorite social media platform, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what, yeah. what's, what's your favorite? So it, that's a really good question, man. Because every platform has like its certain benefits, you know. Um, for us. Facebook has been like our wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. And the reason why isn't necessarily the organic piece of Facebook where you're just simply posting, it's the ads. Mm -hmm. And you know, going back to the thousand true fans rule that we just talked about, I know for some of y'all that a thousand people might seem like a lot, but when you have a certain strategy that you can implement, yeah. it becomes a lot easier. So if we got time, like, can we can we break down like how to actually get to those thousand true fans? Can, oh yeah, can we break it down? Because because that, that's that was actually one of my questions because you know a lot of my insiders who watch the show are you know you know might work a nine to five yeah. you know high earners mm -hmm. um, and they said they might they might be new right mm -hmm. to this online game. So if someone like you and I, yeah. you know I could you know a thousand a thousand subscribers that that's nothing like yeah. that. Easy, easy work, right? But somebody who may be watching might be like, oh, they keep saying stuff is easy, but yeah. they've been doing it, right? 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 And so I want to definitely cool. give them some tangible yes, ways that yes, they can actually yeah, do it. Yeah. Yes, this is, so, so this is kind of like a master class for those of you all that want to learn how to start running ads. So pay attention to this, all right? So first thing you have to understand, because we're going to show you like how to run Facebook ads, okay? Yeah. So first thing you have to understand is what a Facebook pixel is, okay? A Facebook pixel tracks the actions that people perform on your website. Mm. So for instance, let's say you got a thousand people that come to your website. If you do not have the Facebook pixel on your website, then all, the only thing that's going to happen is these 1,000 people are going to come to your website and leave, but you're not going to be able to track any of that data. Mm. All right, And that data is extremely important. However, if you have the pixel installed on your website, what's going to happen is the Facebook pixel is going to track all those actions. So if 1,000 people add a product to cart, the pixel is going to track those 1,000 actions. Mm. That data is extremely valuable because I know y'all listening can relate. You ever been to a website before and you go to the website, you're kind of shopping around, the baby starts crying or the kids get in a fight or something, you end up leaving the website mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you forget that you were even shopping on that website. Mm -hmm. Then 
you go back online the next day and you see their ads popping up everywhere. Mm-hmm. Kind of like it's just following you, Thanks, right? You, yeah. you, you see that? Yeah. What these companies are doing is they're retargeting you. Oh, and I, thought that was the, I thought that was the power of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was manifesting it. <laughs> so, so they're retargeting you. Yeah. The biggest companies in the world are doing that. And the reason why is because they have your information. Mm. They've tracked your data via the Facebook pixel. Mm. Okay? So essentially, all of you all out, out there that have a website, you can do the same thing. You can start retargeting individuals as well mm. through something we call a funnel. Okay, so if you know what a funnel looks like, a funnel is like a a V-shaped thing, right? It's a V-shaped thing. And any marketer in the world knows this funnel strategy. All right. So inside of this funnel, notice how it starts out like really, really wide and then it gets more and more narrow as it comes down. Right. So every time that we're marketing initially, and this goes for anyone out there, anytime you're marketing initially, you want to get people into the top of the funnel, Mm -hmm. which is the very, it's the widest part Mm -hmm. of the funnel, Mm -hmm. okay? Now, in order to do that, you have to run an ad using interest-based targeting, Mm -hmm. okay? You use interest-based targeting, and your whole goal at the top of the funnel is to drive as much traffic in as possible. It doesn't really matter who it is. The whole goal is to just drive an influx of traffic in Mm -hmm. to your pixeled website, Okay, to your pixeled website. Mm-hmm. Or let me let you in on another gym. You said you had 248,000 followers mm-hmm. on IG. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of a Facebook pixel or not, but you're sitting on gold that you didn't even know that you had. Mm. You know, so. because the yeah. pixel <laughs> because the pixel is attached to your Instagram account as well. Mm. Natively, like right when you opened up your Instagram account, the pixel was already there. Mm. It's already there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, so what's happening, <clears throat> excuse me, so what's happening is anyone that interacts with your Instagram, right, DM, all right, whether they DM you, whether they comment, whether they follow you, whatever it is, the pixel is tracking that. So for those of y'all out here listening, all of y'all that have an Instagram account have access to the pixel and all that data on the pixel. Wow. Right now. Mm. Yes. Right now. And it's like, it's literally like gold that there's so many of our clients and students come to us mm-hmm. that have, they have this gold, like, and it's just collecting dust. It's just sitting there. And so there's, so I already have a pixel yep. for everybody who's ever interacted with me Yep. on my Instagram already. Yep. And so if I do a lookalike off of that, it's going to find people just like the people Ooh. who've interacted and, and with. Here, here's where I want you to wow. understand why this is so powerful. Oh. So y'all can look this up too if you want to. Facebook has 52,000 data points yeah. on every single profile. Mm. 52,000. 52,000. So wow. think, think about that for a second. Facebook, like, and this is like no lie, like Facebook knows more about you than you know about mm. you. Like if you ask me like what, like I don't even know 52 things about myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I, like Facebook knows 52,000 data points on every single person, right? Wow. So when we say you can go out and you can create a custom audience and then create a lookalike audience, like when I say it's, it's extremely accurate. It's actually kind of terrifying how wow. accurate it is, right? Like wow. from a consumer standpoint, it's terrifying. Yeah. But from a business standpoint, it's like absolute wow, gold. It's, it's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. So, so going back to the funnel, right? Mm-hmm. You're at the top of the funnel. You're driving as much traffic in as possible just to collect their data at the top of the funnel, okay? That's really the whole objective at the top of the funnel, to, tur- to turn strangers into someone who's somewhat interested in your brand. Mm-hmm. Whole goal at the top of the funnel. Once they've interacted with your brand, then because they're pixeled, you can bring them to the middle of the funnel. Mm. The middle of the funnel is where you retarget. So all you're doing at the middle of the funnel is running ads towards the people who already express interest mm. in your brand, right? Mm retargeting is essentially where your conversions are going to happen. That's where people are going to start to buy from you because when you're retargeting, you're turning a casual watcher of your brand into an actual buyer, Mm. right? You're turning them into a buyer, someone who who would consider buying from you because here's a stat for you. It takes at least seven touch points for someone to actually buy from you. Mm. Seven touch points. Meaning that if I see your ad one time, okay, Cool. Yeah. If I see it you two I mean? times, okay, whatever. three times, whatever. But one, the more that I continue to see your ad, the more I become indoctrinated with it. And eventually, I'm going to click on that link. Mm-hmm. Then after I click on that link, if I see that ad again, then eventually, if it's something I really want, I'm going to purchase. Mm-hmm. Right? And, the, and, and you can stop right there because, like, 
the majority of businesses stop there, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like they stop at the top of the funnel. How many of y'all listening right now will like promote and market to somebody and if they don't buy the first time, you're like, that's ah, it. who's next? I yep. guess it ain't for right, them. Right, 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 <laughs> you right, know right, what I mean? Like that's not how it works. Like yeah. psychologically, people need more like touch points, right? Yeah. And that's the reason why, if you guys ever noticed like, um, like when you're listening to the radio, like you hear the same commercial over, over and over and over, and over. Mm. or when you watch TV, you see the same commercial over and over and mm. over. Like they're not doing that to just spend money for no reason. They know that on average it takes seven to maybe even up to 11 touch points for people wow. to make that buying decision. Wow. And there's been people that have gotten on the phone with us mm -hmm. after being in our funnel for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. where they're like almost like starstruck. They're like, mm -hmm. they're almost like, we're like superstars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then, and he, People even tell me too, like, oh my, I saw your ad so many times. Like, they'll start to relate it to like a religious or a spiritual experience, yeah, right? right? They're like, it's God telling me I needed to talk right. to you. Like, <laughs> I thought I was like, I, was like <laughs> I thought I was manifesting those. I was yeah. like, I was just thinking about. Yeah, you man. Know, and and they're like, form and grill. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, yeah. and and like, I want to encourage all y'all out there that are business owners, like, run that play because yeah. that can turn someone who's a casual listener or a casual just watcher of your brand into someone who can become a raving fan. Like mm -hmm. we've literally gotten on Zoom calls and people scream like, oh my God, I can't believe it's you. <laughs> like literally because of the power of retargeting, right, right? right? So once you learn that strategy and you really get it down, you can make a whole lot of money. And you know, um, I, think, I think that one of the, and, and maybe you guys can help with this, like how do you change the mindset though of the person who is starting out the business to just jump into ads, or when is the mm. right time to jump into ads? Because I feel like, um, like I, you know, you know, I'm a mentor in this space as well, and so people, um, you know, in some of my mentorships, you know, people are, um, you know, a lot of the small business owners are like hesitant mm -hmm. to to spend money on ads. Like a lot yeah. of it, uh, for a lot of them, it's not even in their thought process right, because. Right. Uh, somehow they've been convinced that organic is the way. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm going to build this organically when um, ads is like a cheat code. So, like, how do you get somebody in a mindset to let them know that, no, it, you know, investing in ads, like, yeah. that's really the cheat code for any business that you have? Well, well, I really think it comes down to understanding that, like, if, even if you're new, first of all, if you're new and you, you haven't ever ran ads before, I will definitely say, like, don't try to just do it by yourself. Like, get yeah. coached. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, that's really why we have mentorship programs is to pass on information that we've spent millions of dollars testing. Yeah. So you don't have to spend all that money testing it. We already have. Right? Yeah. But yeah. even if it's not for us, like, go to other coaches. It doesn't matter. Get mm -hmm. coached because one part of the story that I left out on our, our first story uh, or our first e-commerce store was we first started our e-commerce store and we started running ads by ourselves just watching YouTube videos. Mm. And we spent five racks in Facebook ads and mm. didn't make one sale. Wow. Not wow. even one. Wow. Like it was a nightmare, right? Wow. And, and we didn't have money at the time. So it was, a, it was kind of a big deal. So we finally hit, we hit that wall and we we're like, all right, well, I'm not doing that again. Like mm -hmm. clearly that didn't work. Yep. So we finally chucked it up and just said, all right, I'm going to get a mentor. Mm -hmm. So we invested into a mentor and dude, I'll never forget this ever in my life because we, we paid this mentor to teach us the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. And we got the strategy. We went home that night and like ran the play that night. Mm -hmm. Right. And we went to sleep and literally by the time I woke up in the morning, I had sales on my phone by the, by the time I woke up in the morning. Wow. So what I realized at that point, when it comes to online business, dude, when it comes to like being successful online, what I realized at that point is that it has like, has nothing to do with time. Mm. It has everything to do with your strategy mm. because we had just spent three months banging our head against a laptop and spent five racks and right. didn't make one sale. Right. And then this dude comes in, teaches us how to do it differently. Right. And we made a sale within eight hours. Wow. Right. Yeah. And these, these are the types of things that are happening all the time. So I, I say all that to say, get coached first, like learn the right way to do it. Don't just spend your money and just throw money at Mark Zuckerberg. He got plenty of money. He got, he got plenty of money. You know what I mean? And just to, just to add to that, for those of y'all listening right now, you know, what y'all need to understand, what everyone needs to understand is that, you know, a lot of times we put like this, this, this disbelief on ads. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, ads don't work or ads are too complicated or, you know, I can't do ads. Like, I don't, I don't know how to do it, right? Like, I want y'all to understand that it is extremely possible to do it. Like, we have students that are so non-tech savvy, barely know how to turn on a computer, mm. that have come in under our tutelage mm. and started running the plays on ads 
and ran it up. Wow. Yeah. Like, li- like literally, like we have a student who came to us doing $900 a month. And within, I want to say five months, she was up to $52,000 a month. Wow. And she was, yeah. and she was not tech savvy at all. Yeah. Okay. But, but, what, but what, would, what, what would you at, you know, attribute to that, that, that level of growth? Did she change her product or service? No, no, no it's action no. taking. Wow. Right. Yeah. Like all those students that we have that are our most successful students are the action takers. Like yeah. they're yeah. like, they're crazy with it. Right. Yeah. They take our plays and they run them. Right. And, and anyone who's again, to going back to your original question, yeah. um, what would I say to someone trying to get them into ads? I would say the only thing that would really stop people from getting ads is like fear of getting in and losing money. Mm, yeah. What you need to understand about ads is that you you control the throttle completely. Right. Right. It's not like traditional marketing where you put up money and you have a billboard up, dude. It's up. Right. Right. It's up for a month or three months, regardless if it's working or not. Yeah. With a with a Facebook ad, you can you can put it up, and we have formulas where it's like within three days we're gonna know if that ad's gonna perform or not. Mm. Yep. So we can, we can we control the throttle and we can turn things off and, or scale them up as quickly or as fast as we want to. So, mm-hmm. so it's just like understanding that you have full control. Mm. You know what I mean? But again, it always comes back down to having a, having a process and a formula and kind of knowing what you're doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and you know, again, I, I love um, the aspect of ads. I mean, you yeah. know, because I, I, I'll be honest, I, I was one of those people where – you know, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it from the mud, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a hustler. I'm mm-hmm. gonna hustle. Um, you know, I'm gonna put my my product or service in front of a much, you know, as much people as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna do such a good job doing that that you know the, those customers are gonna tell other customers. Like, really old right. school word of mouth, mm-hmm. um, you know, type of uh, thought process, mm-hmm. right? Um, until I, you know, I was introduced to ads, and I realized that ads is a, an accelerator, it right? Is, man. Instead of instead of like wishing and hoping that somebody is gonna, oh, I, oh like this, this is my, my yeah. audience. Oh, I hope my audience because you know that person, uh, I'm assuming is connected to other people like them, yeah, right? Which is true, right? And and this is from my banking days as a banker. They're like, listen. You know, you want to treat your customer right because your customer has maybe 10 people that are just like them mm-hmm. and they can refer those people to you. Well, instead of having to pray and hope that I could that 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 the onus, right, I'm putting the responsibility on the customer that I'm going to do such a good job that the customer is going to spread the word to to their friends. Facts. I could just find uh, I could do the legwork with ads and I could find a person that's just like them. And then market to them with mm, the same characteristics. Exactly. So that's why, like for me, just like a man, like like it's a so no, crazy. no brainer, if you will. Well, to 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 like go back to your point, like ads are only going to amplify what you already are doing, mm. right? So that's why I say it, it's really like your like mentality of like I'm going to do my best work and and get word of mouth. That's the mentality that everyone should have, mm. right? Give value. The only reason the ads work for us is because we actually do good work. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. ads are so ads are not going to replace a bad. It's, it's not going to replace a bad product. Yeah. If yeah. anything, is going to let people know it's more people know right. that you have a bad product. And, and that's another know? common mistake that people make is not having the best product or service, mm, right? Yeah. And 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 then they blame it on the ads, right? Yeah. yeah. You can have the best ads in the world, yeah. But if your product is garbage, mm. yeah, it don't matter. You just yeah. promoting a garbage product that's gonna get you gonna get nothing you but burn blow a hole up in garbage. Your pocket. Right, right, right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's very important. It's a combination, right? Make sure you have a good product or service first, right? Yeah. Make sure the foundation is laid. Yeah. Make sure you're able to collect phone numbers and emails, right? Yeah. You utilizing something that we call a lead magnet, yeah. right? You want to make sure that you have that because once you have that, then you're ready to start running these ads when everything is set up on the back end and it flows so seamlessly. We see it all the time with our students. Mm-hmm. They do extremely well once they have the process set up. Yeah, and and you and you guys uh, have an experience, a five day challenge uh, coming up where you're gonna help people build their list, mm. right? Who who is this experience for? I mean, it's actually a three day challenge. Okay, three day. Um, but like, yeah, we. Uh, I would say honestly that this event that we do is is honestly for anyone. Like, mm-hmm. and I know that sounds crazy, but the thing about it is, there's no business in the world that can't benefit from building a, a quality list yeah. and promoting to that list, right? Yeah. So what we do is, and we do these trainings periodically where we just basically go live and we teach people for three days, like all of our strategies on how to grow lists, like all the psychological like stuff that happens, like the psychological 
like uh, things that are happening to make people actually opt into your mm. offer. Because there's a lot of people who have opt in or different offers and stuff, but they're they're not getting any people to opt in right. because they don't understand the psychological part of what needs to happen, right? right. So we start mm -hmm. teaching all the psychological parts. We teach all the organic strategies. We start going into paid strategies to blow it up. Mm -hmm. And then it's not, that's, to, that's still not enough though, <laughs> right? Because right, right, now right. once you got the list, you got to learn how to make money from the list. Mm -hmm. So we start going into monetization strategies. Um, and I mean, people are like having crazy results. Yeah, man. like I mean, it's kind of like, nuts. W when I say people are mind blown when they when they rock with us yeah. during this experience, they they really are because it's not like your typical like training, right? Like we're in the trenches with you. Like yep. like we we are actually hands on with you, making sure that every single day you are getting things done so that when you leave the challenge, you can actually go out and make money. Like wow. literally everything is built. Your systems are built. You will have your system built when you jump into our training. Yeah. Wow. So, there's, so there's really no reason not to. And it doesn't matter what business you're in either, uh -huh. right? Like, and I think that's probably one of the reasons that like we've like grown the community that we've grown yeah. is because of that hand-holding kind of approach that we have to stuff. And there's, there's a lot of marketers, a lot of people out there that just want to like take your money and then just give you some course or then not even talk to you and there's no like you know what I mean like mm -hmm. it's not it's not like there's no hand holding there's no like when we do these challenges dude we're like like you said we're in the trenches with you yeah. and we got that no land no man left behind type of thing where yeah. it's like yo yeah. you like nah you're gonna get this done yeah right before you leave this challenge and and I think people appreciate that they, they appreciate it number one but number two that's why a lot of our students have been successful mm -hmm. you know like like the lady we talked about who went from 900 to 53k it's because of the fact that she had real guidance. Yeah, and by the way, too, like everything we're saying, check receipts, right? Yeah. Like go to richfromanywhere.com, check the receipts. I think you should do that for anybody who's up here talking. Like yeah. go and check these things. Like yep. these aren't just things that just sound cool to say. Like make sure I mean? we're not lying to you. Exactly, right, sure. right, exactly. Right, right, <laughs> right, you know? Right. And, and, so, and so, you know, that concept, Rich From Anywhere, where, yeah. where, did, where did that come from? Man, that was that was like it's funny because we actually came up with that brand when we were like in a terrible situation. Like we were we were in a, a really beat up small little apartment that had like ants and roaches and it was like nasty, man. Like and we had this like I, and we were actually both working jobs that we hated at the time, mm -hmm. but we had this like passion for digital marketing. And by the way, at this point, like digital marketing and e-commerce and all this stuff wasn't really like popping like it is now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it's like seven years, seven, eight years ago, something like that. It wasn't really it was like the wild, wild west back right. then. You know what right, I mean? Right, like right. everything was a scam. It felt like <laughs> um, so. But we just we just loved it, man. We just yeah. loved the digital marketing side of it. And it's the concept of being able to work from anywhere man uh -huh. being able to make money from anywhere and, uh -huh. and not be tied to one particular place to go and make money yeah. you know what i mean and that was our that was our mindset at the time was like i had to i used to be a, a server and a bartender uh -huh. so the only time i could make money is when i got in my car and i drove to this one establishment right. and that's the only place i could make money right right and now fast forward like today and you can understand this too like the thought of that is even, it's just crazy. It's repulsive. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it makes yeah. me want to vomit, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it is But to crazy. go off of what you said, like, it, it brought me back to something. Um, when we created that name, Rich From Anywhere, we really were in a bad space. But mentally, we were in a great space. Mm. And, you know, I know you're big on abundance and manifestation. Yeah. So are we. We're big into, like, the law of attraction and thoughts become things. Yeah. And one of the craziest things, man, one of the things we used to do in this in this beat up apartment, oh, you gonna we, used to, this, we, we, gonna, we gonna go there, we gonna go there. We used to sit down, no, regardless of the circumstance, we used to sit down and we used to role play mm. being multimillionaires wow. and being like literally, like I kid you not, like yeah. in, in, the, in the house, like, yo, let's do it for like a couple hours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we would literally have conversations like, yo, yo, what time are you picking up the jet? Or, mm. or, or yo, I just transferred 50K over to your bank account. Yo, we just had a six-figure day, day wow. you know? Yeah. Like, we literally used wow. to do that, but we used to not only just say these things, but the key to manifestation is not only saying it, but also feeling it yeah. as well and then taking the action. Yep. So we started doing that, and here we are today striving towards even more goals. Yep. But, you know, I would consider ourselves successful, but it all starts with the mindset, though. Mm. You know, y'all so can do crazy. that too. And y'all can do that too. Yep. Like anyone watching can do that too. Cause yeah. I'm telling you, like when you first start doing it, by the way, if y'all take our advice and y'all want to start, you know, doing the things that we were doing, it, you're going to like feel like a tennis match at first. Right. Right. Cause we don't come from money. Like I don't come from money at all. Right. So 
like when we were having conversations about transferring five hundred thousand dollars into an account and all, like my my subconscious is like, bro, you are a bold face. <laughs> <man." laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but like my conscious mind had to like keep going. So there's this tennis match, right? right, right. So when you guys start doing it. Just understand that that tennis match is completely normal yeah. and just keep going, right? Because eventually the subconscious mind, it only changes with repetition, yeah. right? Like you got to just keep going and keep going. And eventually your subconscious won't know the difference anymore yep. and yeah. your life will be completely different. And so, and so if, you, if you could give an online business like one piece of advice, what would that be? I would say, honestly, like if I could give them one piece of advice, it would be to start focusing on pulling those people off of your social media platforms mm. into an actual tangible list that you can then use to promote, mm. right? And that's if, that's if you're a business that you know, already has a following, if you're a business that's already kind of making moves organically, I would highly recommend that. Because it's crazy, like we have friends of ours that have over a million followers on TikTok, mm -hmm. right? And they're not monetizing at all. They don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it is. It's crazy. And what, what's, the, what's the key to that, though, right? Because, again, I, like, I, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, anybody watching who is, like, interested, right? Like, mm -hmm. they're like, you know what? I want to grow my list. Yeah. I'm going to run ads. Like, all, all this stuff yeah. sounds good. Right. Yeah. Like, what, yep. like, what's that? You want the sauce. Nah, I want the sauce. You want the sauce. Yeah, well, want the sauce. Well, listen, like, I'll tell you, man, look, like, when it comes to building a list, yeah. what you got to understand is um, when you're trying to collect information from people, uh -huh. the best way for you to, to collect information from people is by giving away something for free yeah, in exchange. Okay. Got it. Right? Yeah. And that's what we, in the digital space, we call it a lead magnet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you want, and, and by the way, it's in the digital space, but if you look around, like there's examples of lead magnets everywhere, everywhere right? Facts, yeah. Like one that we use a lot is there's a gas station called Wawa. You ever heard oh, of Wawa? Right? Love Wawa. Like, Wawa's the jam, yo, bro. I love it's, Wawa. It's they, not a yo, gas they, station. They, 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 melt, they tuna melt. Yo, <laughs> you know what I mean? This, with some honey mustard. This on is that? what I'm saying, bro. Yo, this is you. a this is a perfect example, right? Yeah, yeah. Because what Wawa does, I was I realized this. I was getting gas at Wawa one day, and I looked over, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Like they give free air here. Yeah. They're giving free air. Mm. No other gas station gives free air for mm. your tires. Yeah. Right. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, bro, that's a lead magnet. Right. Mm. Because how many like times will people will go in to the Wawa just to get some free air and then they get done pumping up their tires. Mm. Shh, they're done. Now they're looking like, well, I am kind of thirsty, though. Like, let, wow, me go, yeah. let me go ahead and get some something to drink. And then you talking about how did you find out about the tuna melt? What brought you into Wawa? Go Probably. The gas. Got, yeah. The yeah. gas. Right. Gas, air. Yeah. Like so. So yeah. that's a lead magnet right yeah. there. Now. Like, so I want you to wrap your mind around the psychology of this, right? Yeah. I went in there. I got some free air. I wasn't thinking about getting anything else, yeah. but I was in the parking lot, so I ended up going in. Mm -hmm. Now I go in, and it's like this whole experience, yeah, right? Like, yeah, it, yeah. that's not a gas station, facts, bro. Facts, like, bro, that's, said, that's like, you know what I mean? So yeah. now when I had that experience, next time I'm driving down the road and it's time for me to get gas, yeah. where am I going to go? And, and it's all because of free air, yeah. right? Like another example would be at the mall, like when you're at the food court. Yeah. What you see people coming up to you with, right? Yo, they come up to you with the little samples. The little like, yo, sticks with yep. chicken like, and yeah, 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 all yeah. this crazy yeah. stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Like same thing because they understand yeah. I have to give something away for free in right. order to get the information, right? right. So what you want to do is if you want to start building your list, you want to you wanna create a lead magnet for your customers to opt in, right? Yeah. Now, the trick to, to creating a, because anyone can try to create a lead magnet, but it might be a dud. Mm -hmm. the, only, the, the trick to creating a lead magnet that works is you have to create an irresistible offer mm -hmm. for people. Okay. You have to be given something away that is like truly valuable mm -hmm. for your customers, mm -hmm. all right? Now, the only way that you can create something that's irresistible is by doing the next step is understanding your customers mm -hmm. better than they even know themselves. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand what, their pain points are, mm -hmm. what their pleasure points are, what they desire, what they don't want, what their objections are. Mm -hmm. And if you, like, if you, like, guys, everyone listening right now, if you own a business, all you're doing is solving problems. That's all business That's is. It. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're solving yeah. problems. Yeah. So just figure out what your customers' problems are, yeah. create a solution for it, and, and the floodgates are going to open, yeah. period. And come yeah. holler at us when it works because yeah. it works. And for yeah. instance, like, I'm going to give y'all one. I'm going to give y'all a gym. For those of y'all that have online boutiques, a giveaway play y'all can run is free clothes for a year. Mm. Free and clothes for a year. Free clothes for a year, okay. right? Think about that, right? Mm. Free clothes for a year. In a customer's in a customer's opinion, if they see that headline free clothes for a year, 
oh, I'm in. What do I have to do? Yeah. Right. I'm going to give you my arm and my my arm and my leg to get mm-hmm. to get that free product. Yeah. Right. So like people are going to opt in now on the back end. You as the as the owner of the brand. It's all about wording and we're not it's not about like tricks and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But free clothes for a year could mean once a month they get a free outfit. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. But again, it's all about the psychology yeah. and the way that you word these things yeah. that get more people in. I'll yeah. take I'll take 12 free outfits for the year, right. but I'm not going to word it like 12 yeah. free outfits for the year. I'm going to mm-hmm. say free clothes for a year mm-hmm. because that's going to drive in the most traffic mm-hmm. organically. And, 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 and like you said, free clothes for a year gets the most traffic to the top of the funnel. Yep, exactly. Right? And yep. then now from the top of the funnel, you, you know, you start, you know, weeding out or figuring out who's going to yep. make it to the middle or the bottom okay. of the funnel. Right. And that, and that's you a smart. good point. You, you smart. You smart. You, smart. <laughs> you loyal. <laughs> so you, you keep coming down. So the funnel, like top of funnel, I want everybody to really wrap their, their mind around it. Yeah. Top of funnel, the whole goal is to turn strangers into people who are aware of your brand. Mm. You dr- now you start to retarget people. You turn people who are aware of your brand into customers mm. at the middle of the funnel. Mm-hmm. Now, the smart brands, they keep going, right? Now, what you want to do is you want to start bringing people down to the bottom of the funnel. Mm-hmm. All right? Now, at the bottom of the funnel, this is where you turn customers and you turn them into repeat customers. Mm. Yeah. Right? And there's strategies that you can set up on Facebook to help you do all that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and It's so, crazy. So bottom of the funnel, y'all. Remember we talked about thousand true fans at the, in the beginning of this. Bottom of the funnel is where you create those thousand true fans, mm. those raving fans, those fans that are going to buy from you over and over again, yep. spend over $100 with you throughout the course of the year. Yeah. Bottom of the funnel is the key to your six-figure or seven-figure year. Facts, facts. Yeah. And then, so, building a list, right? So I, so I know, you know your challenge is about building that list. Yeah. And there's always been this, you know, I guess... Nowadays, you know, most people are on their phones and you have um, the distinction between email lists or text messages. Mm-hmm. If you could uh, choose a list to build, which one would it be and why? Oh, gosh. Oh, SMS Phone all list. day. Phone, Phone all list. day. Okay. And, you know, yeah. the reason why is because think about it, right? Like my, e- my email right now, my personal email gets probably a thousand emails a day. I'm not opening that. Right. You know, however... My phone is attached to my hip, right? right? Anytime I get a notification, anytime my phone vibrates, I'm looking at it to see who contacted mm. me. So it's crazy because when you look at SMS marketing, you're going to get very, very high open rates mm-hmm. with SMS. Mm-hmm. Like, like open rates? Almost, where, almost 100%. Almost 100%. Mm-hmm. Like, like you think 99%. about it, if someone texts you like now, like you, you might not watch it look at it now, yeah. but five minutes from like you're going to look at you're it. You're going to yeah. check it out. Yeah. Right? And, it, it, it's, it's, almost, it's almost to the point where... Um, if I see a text message, like I don't, I don't even like to see the notification that I got a text message. Yeah. So I, so I'll be like trying to go through them so yeah. I can clear it out. So yeah. I don't <laughs> see a notification. Like it's weird. Well, if you look at brand, look at do, do what the big brands are doing, right? Mm-hmm. So I'd encourage all of y'all to to opt in to whoever your favorite brands are, mm-hmm. opt into their their email list and their yeah. SMS list, and see which one they're doing more. Yeah, yeah. I can guarantee you that the best brands are doing. SMS marketing more. I'm subscribed to Fashion Nova, and the reason why is because I'm a student of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We study these big brands to see what they're doing so we can share it with our students in layman's terms. you like the jeans? I mean, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Fashion Nova do got some. Yeah, yeah. Got some I'm a yeah. big guy, so I don't know if they got my size. <laughs> got never, yeah. <laughs> you know, but honestly, like, just do what the big brands are doing. Yeah. Opt into their SMS list and see the way that they're marketing to you mm-hmm. and how often. Because yeah. another common misconception that people always tell us is, Oh, I don't want I don't want to bother my list that much. I don't want to send off a text blast at once a week because yeah. I feel like I'm annoying. Yeah. yeah. No. That's yeah. a big one. Do do not do that. Like you are doing yourself a disservice yeah. and you're doing your customer a disservice by not marketing to them more because your products are making their lives exponentially better. Yeah. So once you start thinking about it like that and thinking about it in terms of wow, if I'm not sending out a text message right now, my customer's life isn't going to get better. Mm. Now all of a sudden you start thinking about it a little differently That's and you're going to do everything in your do anything you can yeah. to get more people to see your brand because you're making their lives better. So that's yeah. a good way to think about it. And I, and I like that perspective, though, too, because um, it also helps people to understand that if your business is not making somebody's life better, then you should not be in the business. Facts. Facts bro. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Because I think that a lot of people um, 
get into business for the wrong reasons, right? Yeah. They're like, look, I'm tired of my nine to five or, you know, I'm scared of the economy or whatever reasons mm -hmm. that they get into it. They're not really thinking about their customer and how, you know, how they're going to add value. They're really thinking about themselves and yeah. how this business could potentially, you know, you know, stack their pockets, yep. secure them and their family. Um, and then now, you know, they have this fear of, of really kind of going out there because they didn't really uh, provide or, or, or sit down and solidify what they offer. It, right. Man. But when you get to that space where you know, like, you know, you know, like I know that my, my new software book rich is going to make people oh, six, seven figures easily. You already yeah. know it. Right. And so because I know this, like I'm, you know, I'm doing webinars every week. I'm, you know, I'm like, 100%. I'm banging on the door. I'm like, no, yes. you need this <laughs> yes. product. Yes. And, and I, and, and I, and I, I go to sleep at night yeah. very well because I, I know what this, this provides. And so having that mindset, yes. um, kind of helps you say, no, I, I know this thing works. I want to make sure everybody knows it. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, if you know your thing can help people and you're not trying to get it to as many people as possible, then you're not being ethically responsible. Boom. Facts, bro. Yeah. And I'm telling That's you, it. anyone who listens to that and, and if y'all adopt that mindset, yeah. it's going to be very difficult for yeah. you to fail yeah. because there's so little of the population. It's low, so little percentage of businesses think that way. Yeah. They, most people get into business just to make money yeah. because like, I don't know, like I think just people don't really understand money, right? Yeah. They, like if you really want to make money, you got to understand like the principles of money, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And understand that money is literally just a byproduct of value creation. 100%. Yeah. That's all it is, yeah. right? And the amount of money that you make is directly in yeah. proportion to the amount of value you bring to the marketplace. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so stop focusing. If, you, if you're right now, if you had a, have a business and you're like struggling to make money, I would say stop focusing on making money completely. Mm. Start focusing on creating value for your customers mm. because the money is just going to come automatically. Mm -hmm. mm, that's, that's a fact. Good. That's good. What, what would you, you know, what would you say or how do you handle the transition, right? So, you know, you guys as music artists um, wanted to transition to, you know, e-commerce, yeah. right? And a lot of times... Um, what people do becomes part of their identity. Yes. And so it's hard for them to pivot because, you know, they're not doing what they have identified as who they are. Right. And so what was that like? Like, how did y'all successfully, question. like, pivot? I'll, I'll say this, man. Like, as a music, like, we were unique music artists in the fact that we had the marketing gene within us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're an independent artist, you have to go out there and grind and market yourself. So we'd been marketing, yeah. you know, we had been marketing, posting on Facebook, doing things like that. Um, when we when we started being introduced to e-commerce and we learned ads, we happened to still be doing music. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Yeah. So we decided, yo, we know Facebook ads now. We know them pretty well. We've established a six figure brand. And we happened to have a, an event, right? So we decided to throw this event, this rave in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, didn't have a big fan base, by the way. Like our fan base wasn't huge, but we decided, yo, let's throw, let's rent out a space, let's throw a, throw a rave in Atlanta, and let's do all the marketing via ads. Mm. So we marketed for about two weeks, right? Spent probably about a hundred, two hundred dollars in ad spend, mm -hmm. and we sold out the event. Wow. Sold out the whole event. Sold about a hundred. Just one hundred, two hundred dollars. Yes. Ads. Wow. Kid you not, right? Wow. To the point where the post that we used, like there was college kids tagging other college kids talking wow. about, yo, you going to pull up? Now, mm. let me tell you the key to that and the key to all ads, okay? Mm. It's the creative. Mm. It's the visual. It's the yeah. video. Yeah. If your video is lacking, you are not going to make any money. I don't care how good your targeting is. Mm. So your visual creative has to be on point, yeah. okay? And I would, I would second that by saying, do not use pictures in your ads. Mm. Stick with videos, because mm. videos tend to convert better right now, mm. right? And another thing you wanna do, here's the big gem. Don't just stick with one video. Mm. Split test your videos. Do between, between two and four different videos oh, wow. that you wanna split test. Wow. Because here's the thing, if you, if you only run one ad to one video, and that video is a dud, you got you to gotta create a brand new ad and mm -hmm. test the next one. Instead yeah. of just split testing them, yeah. Facebook's going to distribute the budget to the visual that's performing the best. So you don't mm -hmm. even got to do nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Facebook will yeah. do it for you if you split test and then you can say, okay, this particular video spent $5. These other videos spent $1. This video must be the one that's popping off because Facebook likes it. Let me yeah. go ahead and turn off the other ones. Let all the budget Facebook is now like wow. Facebook is doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you nowadays. Wow. Like yeah. when we first started, like it wasn't like that. Yeah. You had to really pay attention to every single creative and and turn things off and on. Uh -huh. Now the way that the algorithm works, man, you just set your budget and Facebook honestly knows how to to, to, to market your stuff better than you do. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. Know? If, and and we, we've dabbled into TikTok ads, too, which is also a big a big one. TikTok ads as well. But I would say like the difference between like TikTok, Instagram and Facebook ads is that with Facebook and IG ads, if it hits, you can let that thing run. Like we have students right now currently that have ads running from 2000, 2021. Wow. Yeah, the literally. Same ad. Literally, yeah. same ad. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and, I, and I, I, I like that you said um, that you can go between 100 and $200 because I know somebody who's watching and maybe thinking, well, I don't have ad money. Right. But nah, $100, yep, $200. Right. In fact, you know, sometimes Facebook won't even let you, you know, put a lot of money into if you're an ad, If it's a new ad account, yeah. If it's yeah. a new ad account, right? Correct, like yeah. they want you to kind of mm -hmm. be, be like tested. Um, you know, what, what what do you say to the people who, who are like, well, Facebook is dead. Like, you know, Facebook is dying. What do you say to those people? You've been listening to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, Facts. You know, like yeah. now, now Facebook did have a little like situation a yeah. couple years ago with, with the iOS 14 mm -hmm. and things were wonky for a little bit. But yeah. I'll tell you what, man, like. They got it back together. Mm -hmm. Facebook yeah. ads, like right now, are popping. Right. We have students getting over 20x return, top wow. of funnel, wow. on some like some of their ads. Like wow. it's it's definitely working. Yeah. Um. So so just like I would just say, be careful who you pay attention to because yeah. the biggest mistake that a lot of people make, the most expensive mistake people make, is paying Facts. attention to the wrong people. Facts. Especially on YouTube University. Facts. If you're on YouTube University and you're yeah. trying to like extract different videos and piece them together to yeah. be able to have an ad strategy. I wouldn't recommend that. Mm, um, reason being is because there's always more info for you to seek. Yeah. So if you're just running a play based off what somebody said on YouTube, there's always something missing. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to go to them to ask them a question because you got it off of a video. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So best, best piece of advice, find someone to guide you and hold your hand through the process. Yeah. Cause when you do that, your chances of getting to success a lot quicker go up exponentially. Yeah. And the good news is you don't got to find nobody because we found you, right? <laughs> uh, talk to them about your three-day three -day experience. Yeah, man. So we do this, uh, the three-day experience, basically, we do this periodically. It's called the Grow Your List Challenge. Yeah. And um, we basically, like I said before, man, we, we hold people's hands through the process yeah. of the psychological part of actually getting people to opt into their list, yeah. right? We show you how to build a list. We show you the softwares to use. We show you how to not only grow the list, but actually how to monetize that list too. And we have our own strategies that we've kind of developed over the years that honestly, like nobody's doing this. Like, and get rich from anyway. like facts, facts, bro. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I'm telling you, like I've, I've looked around for the things that we're teaching yeah. and no one's doing them. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I, I truly believe that anyone who's, who's interested in, in building their list and growing their business and having longevity in their business will be blown away by this, this experience. Look, yep. we got the link down in the description, but if they wanted to, to join, where would they go? Sure. So what y'all are going to do is go to richfromanywhere.com. You'll see a link for our challenge right there. Go ahead and click that link. Um, you can also follow us on social media at Rich From Anywhere, on Instagram, at Rich From Anywhere on Facebook, at Rich From Anywhere on TikTok, at Rich From Anywhere on YouTube. Rich From Anywhere everywhere. Just search Rich From Anywhere <laughs> and you'll see <laughs> Rich it. From Anywhere everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts, facts. What have said. Um, so, la you know, last, uh, last bit of advice for entrepreneurs out there who are just starting out, you know, maybe our side hustlers, maybe the people who, you know, still got a full-time job and they ready uh, to, to kind of get running. They heard you. They're like, I right, bet, you know, I'm going to start running ads. I'm going to make sure my, you know, my product or service gives value. Yes. What's the, what's the, what's their first course of action? What, what, are they, what, are they, what should they be doing? Yeah. What, what I would suggest is learn from our mistakes, right? Mm. 
when we jumped in, we didn't hire a mentor right away. We didn't seek guidance. Yeah. We just jumped right in, and that was a costly mistake. We spent about $5,000. Mm-hmm. So the first thing I would say, if you're just getting started, if you don't have anything set up yet, seek the guidance so you don't have to go through the heartache and the pain of losing 5K. <laughs> right. you know and, that's just, and that's just the beginning. Yeah. You know, Honestly, we've had people that have come to us that have wasted 30000 in ads yeah. Yeah. without results just yeah. because they're doing things the wrong way. Yeah. Right. So I, I would agree, man. I mean, just find yourself a really good mentor that you trust that has the receipts to back up what they're saying yep. and just follow their guidance. Because, like I said, success leaves clues. Yeah. And as long as you can just like pick up like the, the, the pieces, you can just you can do it as well. You know, and um, I look at mentorship like it. I think mentorship is the most amazing thing ever. I, I look at mentorship yeah. like a time machine. 100%. Right. Like I'm, I'm about to jump into this time machine. Yeah. So like the 10, the, the, you know, the, all the, the 10, 15, 20 million dollars in, in ads you spent mm-hmm. figuring stuff out. Mm-hmm. Just teach me that stuff in a couple hours so exactly. I don't have to spend that exactly. much money. Yep. Yeah. And the 10 years you you banged your head against the laptop figuring out all these things. Mm-hmm. Just teach me that in a couple hours so yeah. I don't have to spend 10 That's, years. Yeah. Shortcut right? in the process. So if you're looking for the ultimate success hack, yeah. it's, it's this. Yeah. It's find people who are more successful and smarter than you. Yep. And when you find those people, mm-hmm. you pay them whatever they ask. Facts. And then you do whatever they say. Facts. Facts. That's it. There you have it, y'all. And I, I, I'm telling you, I can vouch for it. Like, that is the formula. I went through years of ups and downs as an entrepreneur trying to figure things out myself. The moment I started to invest in myself was the moment I started to see exponential growth. Um, and, and it cut the time. In fact, I, I felt like I was, like you said, it was like a time machine, like a quantum leap. Like yeah, you know, I went from, from here and I was like, you, like it happened <laughs> so fast that I'm like, some, and, 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 and to be honest, like sometimes I think I'd be like, yo, yo, last year I was celebrating doing six figures in a month mm. and then going from that to a space where, you know, you make it in a day and then you make seven, like that is... Like at, at one point, that thought was crazy to me until I got around other people, until I got around people who were teaching me how to do that. Yes. Uh, and so really, anything that we want, any thought process we yes. have, any uh, uh, goal that we want to accomplish, yes. all you got to do is borrow the confidence of the person who Ooh, already has that's it. That's a fact. Because they, they do it so effortlessly that they could show you the way and all you got to do, like you said, pay them what they charge, do whatever they say. Yeah. Facts, man. That's it. And this works for any, like you said, anything. Anything. We're talking about business because yeah. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. But it also goes for relationships. Yeah. Right? Like if you want to be in a better relationship, get around other couples that are, have great relationships Facts. and it will it will increase that. Yeah. If you want to be more healthy, get around people who are healthier. Like it just works all, all yeah. across the board. When you're around success and, and high vibrations, you have no choice but to match that vibration. Yeah. You know? So it's very imperative that you get around an inner circle of people that you want to be like. Yeah. If you wouldn't, if you wouldn't trade lives with them, mm. you probably shouldn't rock with them. Facts. You know what I'm saying? saying? So so that's what that should be your rule, like going through and finding people that you rock with. Yeah. Find people that you would trade lives with. If you mm. wouldn't trade right. if you don't trade if you wouldn't trade their life trade your life with them, then don't take advice from them. Mm. Mm. Bars. 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 Look, bars. they still they're still <laughs> musicians. You know what I'm saying? Got Let's the go. bars. Let's go. Steven and Steven. Yo, what what's the what's the irony in that? It's crazy, right? Like yeah. what's the irony? I don't know how that happened. Having the same name. There's <laughs> really no irony. I, I, other than the fact that yes. we started out like in college, college kids, independent music artists. Yeah. We ended up linking up. We found we found some like minded connections. Yeah. And um, started rocking out, had yeah. the chemistry there. And then we were like, yo, what's your name? Oh, my name's Steven. What's your name? Thought he was Steven. joking. I was like, Thought yo, was joking. Steven with a PH? He was like, yeah, Steven with a PH. <laughs> and it's spelled like, the same, too. Yeah. It's spelled the same. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yo. <laughs> Look, <laughs> well, Steven is Steven. <laughs> rich from anywhere. Find that everywhere. Yes, Facts. sir. Yo, uh, again, just, you know, I mean, if, if, if y'all, last words for the folks. Man, uh, you got this. Yes, you know right. what I mean? Yes, like, right. yeah. like that's it. You know, like we came from like we we came from the mud. Yeah. Like I, I, yeah. that's the way I say it. We yeah. came from the mud and we yeah. pulled ourselves up yeah. by by these things that we're showing you today. Right. Yeah. So the biggest thing is I would say is like everything that you learned today. Hopefully this inspired you, but don't let it just inspire you. I want you to actually take action on this yeah. stuff because um, there's never the perfect time. Yeah. Right. There's never a perfect time that like you got to do it now. You know, and we always say. Um, you know, imperfect action always beats perfect procrastination. Yeah. Right. So, so just get it, 
how you got it right now. Start doing and just start breaking stuff and fixing stuff as you go. Yep. That's it. All right. Take action now. No opportunity wasted. We are closing out the vault. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash. Make sure you follow us everywhere at Inside the Vault. Matter of fact, go to our website, InsideTheVaultShow.com. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am AshCash.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. And make sure you join us inside of the Abundance community. We got Steven and Steven giving you gems that we ain't talk about on the Ooh, show. Yeah. Some behind the scenes footage. Make sure you become a member. Go to AbundanceCommunity.org. The greatest financial spirituality community on the planet. I'll see y'all next time. Same time, same place. In God's will. All right, y'all. Peace.